Hey everybody, today we're drawing the small and large intestines in the dog and we're just going to do a quick sketch to determine their general location in the abdomen. And remember this is their common general location but the abdominal organs always move and can be found in different places but these are relatively good reasons to draw them where they are. So to begin with, we're going to orientate ourselves. We're looking at the ventral view of the dog's abdomen so we're looking at the stomach right is screen left here and animal left is screen right and we're going to begin with the stomach with the esophageal entry and we're going to describe things the way ingesta would travel and we're also going to describe them relative to the root of the mesentery so r here is the root of the mesentery and that is where you find the cranial mesenteric artery and it's basically the mesenteric attachment or stalk or stem if you will the intestines start as a tube and then they take a couple spin and a half around the root of the mesentery and they end up in their adult position and we're going to describe these organs relative to what they are relative to again the direction the ingesta is traveling and relative to the root of the mesentery so before we do anything we're just going to draw a simple fish hook and then we're going to draw a question mark and now we're going to break this down into the individual organs so to begin with we're going to look at the descending duodenum and the descending duodenum is that first part attached to the stomach that heads caudally to the right of the root of the mesentery So that would be the descending duodenum. Our next structure we'll consider will be the ascending duodenum. And that continues from the du caudal duodenal flexure and heads cranial to the left of the root of the mesentery. The next structure we'll consider, and we're not going to draw in completion, will be the jejunum. Because the jejunum fills up the ventral abdomen, it would basically about fill up our whole image. But we're going to draw the initial part here, the initial part of the jejunum, and the terminal part of the jejunum. So those would be jejunum, just those two little pieces. So initially it begins on um, the left of the root of the mesentery, and it's all throughout the ventral abdomen. Then we'll pick it up again as terminal part on the right of the root of the mesentery. The next structure we'll draw will be the ilium. So that would be the ilium. Now the ilium is a small piece, the last distal piece of the small intestine, and it heads cranially to the right of the root of the mesentery. The next structure we'll draw will be the ascending colon, and the ascending colon is going to head cranially to the right of the root of the mesentery. We'll continue this with the transverse colon which heads from animal right to animal left cranial to the root of the mesentery. So that would be six. And we'll go back and we'll make sure that we know this is five which is ascending colon, six is transverse colon. And then we're going to draw the descending colon. So the descending colon continues from the transverse colon and it heads caudally to the left of the root of the mesentery all the way down until it gets to the pelvic inlet. So this would be descending colon. Once the descending colon enters the pelvic inlet it then becomes the rectum and then the external opening to this digestive large colon would be the anus. So that would be the, the anus. And the final structure we're going to draw will be the cecum. And in the dog, the cecum communicates with the ascending colon. So we'll draw the cecum over here. And that will be the cecum. So the cecum is found to the right of the root of the mesentery, communicating with the ascending colon. So a couple other relationships that 
we'll mention that our important note, and there can be a little bit of variability here, but you should realize that the descending duodenum is generally found lateral to the ascending colon. So the descending duodenum is generally found lateral to the ascending colon. And likewise, the descending colon is generally found to the left of and lateral to the ascending duodenum.